We are inching closer to the January 30th announcement of the Ralph Caldecott Award. The medalist and hopefully a bunch of honor books will be named and I am so excited to see which books are honored. I am sharing with you today four one, two, three, four books that I hope to see honored by the committee. I want to make this very clear. I am not a book reviewer. I am not an uh, analyzer deeply into the depths that these Caldecott Committee and Newberry Committees have to go in. I'm a fan of children's literature. I am a lover of books. I am a fifth grade teacher. And we surround ourselves with amazing books. And I'm going to talk to you about four that I hope are possibly honored by the committees. So take this all with a grain of salt. Just a teacher hanging out with a bunch of kids all day. Action, How Movies Began by Megan McCarthy. I had to have one nonfiction book and Megan McCarthy does nonfiction art unlike anyone I have ever seen before. I love so many of her books and this one just feels extra special, extra unique. She's like, look how she draws people. I love it. I think this book is really special and I would not be surprised to see it honored by the committee. If you haven't checked out Action, be sure to do it a phenomenal, beautiful, Caldecott-worthy book. Next up, we have uh, the medalist from a couple of years ago. Michaela Goad makes her author straighter debut. She wrote and illustrated Barry's song. It is just pure magic. Like, look at that art, seriously. I love the story. The art and the story mix so perfect and magically together. I would be so happy to see Michaela receive another medal or possibly an honor for this breathtaking book, this story that takes place way up in Northwest United States. Uh, if you haven't read this, be sure to check it out as soon as possible. One of the best books of 2022. Next up, we have a, uh, I, think, I, think, I think it's a debut book. I think Gibberish by Young Vo is a, debut book. To be honest, I'm not even sure, but it's the first time I can remember seeing a Young Vo book. And it has such unique art. It's about this child who comes to a new school and he doesn't understand the language and it feels like everyone is speaking gibberish. It's like, look at that. And like, this might not look like your traditional Caldecott book, but you see the art towards the end. It's so beautiful. It might not feel like your traditional Caldecott medal winning book, but kind of felt like that a little bit a handful of years ago when Dan Santat won for Beagle. And maybe this is a, a year where something that looks a little different than maybe what we're expect, we expect to see in the Caldecott medal is honored. So Gibberish, Young Vo, debut creator, I think. Phenomenal book. I loved it. I loved reading it to kids and discussing it with kids. I read it to both last year's class and this year's class. It is a hit. Gibberish check it out. It's so cool. It's so, it just feels so cool and so unique. Uh, and then finally, Sophie Blackall's Farmhouse. I think that this is one of the greatest children's books ever made. I think it's one of the most beautiful picture books. It is an absolute masterpiece. I have loved Sophie Blackall's two Caldecott medal winning books, um, Finding Winnie and uh, Hello Lighthouse. And while I love both of those books, I think this is her absolute best, look at that, seriously, her best work. I cannot imagine a world where 15 or so experts in children's literature come together and don't select this, at least in honor. My greatest fear, it's not my greatest fear, because it's, at the end of the day, like, there's so many more things that are more important than this. But something that I'm worried about is that I think being on a committee is hard. And I worry that, they not that they would ever do this, but maybe subconsciously somewhere deep in their soul, they would think like, oh, she's already won it twice. And that can't come into the conversation. So that's probably why I probably couldn't be on these committees because I just wear my, it's just too much about like, I don't know, my heart and how I feel deep in my soul and maybe not on the merit of the book, that this book has all the merit. Um, but I would get into the, some of those narratives outside of the actual, just what we're, their job is to do. And I'm sure that they're going to do their job. I have complete confidence in the committee. I hope that they pick lots of honor books. I hope to see Farmhouse, Gibberish, Berry Song, 
and maybe action honored by the committees. I cannot wait to see what is announced. I also made a video with my favorite Newberry picks. I'll put that up in one of the corners here. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new, please consider subscribing. We'll keep talking books. We keep talking kids. We'll keep talking reading. My name is Colby Sharp. Hope you have an awesome, fantastic day.